you already know the title, so we're going to tell you something today uh, about the expectations and motivations uh, of the geodesy students in Germany, Austria and Switzerland. But first, a quick introduction. Who are we? We are the conference of the geodesy students from the German-speaking countries. We represent 22 universities in Germany, Austria and Switzerland. We are having a meeting together every semester where we have field trips, lectures, working groups, a general assembly and of course a lot of space for networking. Um, to our personalities, my name is uh, Valentin Farah, I am the chairman of the Congeos. We also have our wonderful PR manager with us, Joshua, and the DVW, the Association Represent Representative uh, Adrian. So, a little bit of background. Let's have a look on the development of the German labor market in general. And as you can see uh, uh, in the numbers of the German statistical authorities, the workforce in Germany is projected to decline by 9.2% until 2030. I think that's quite a lot of people. Um, and also the activity rate, so the participation in the labor market uh, is also projected to decline by 4%, so even uh, less employees. And the medium age of the, of the average worker is uh, also projected to be to be uh, to de decline, and that is due to the fact that many of the baby boomer generation people are retiring. So the average worker is actually getting younger while there are being less workers in general. Uh, if we look at the file of geodesy, we have very rare data. But there was a survey conducted uh, already in 2011 in North Rhine Westphalia uh, where companies uh, got asked how many employees will you lose in the next year, how many employees will you need in the next year, and how many people will graduate from the universities. And as you can see, for bachelor and master graduates, uh, there's so there, there are just not enough people graduating, so we will have less workers. Um, if you look at the numbers for the apprenticeship, uh, you will see that enough people, or more than enough people, are actually graduating. Uh, but this is kind of misleading, because many of these people with an apprenticeship will continue to get a master's or a bachelor's degree. Okay, so let's continue with the geodesy studies at German-speaking universities. So in total, there's 24 universities, 24 public universities, you might add, um, that offer a degree typically called geodesy and geoinformatics. What's kind of special for Germany is that there are two types of universities. There are not general universities of applied sciences and technical universities, which offer different degrees and study lengths. So Universities of Applied Sciences at most times offer a Bachelor or Master of Engineering with seven or three to four semester study length, whereas um, technical universities offer a Bachelor or Master of Science after six and four semesters. Universities of Applied Sciences have a larger focus on practical training and practical exercises. Uh, technical universities have a greater focus on the theoretical aspects and further specialization, for example, in fields such as physical geodesy, hydrography, geodetic earth observation, or industrial metrology. Then let's continue with the research methodology. Um, the first part will be the first semester student numbers, which we acquired by the German Federal Statistical Office, the Statistisches Bundesamt in German. Um, from these, the value of values for a 10-year period were selected for bachelor's and master's combined. Um, for the Austrian and Swiss universities, we had to obtain the numbers directly from the universities. 
with the exception that the University of Applied Sciences of Northwestern Switzerland in Mutenz um, only started publishing the numbers for the 2019-2020 winter semester. The second part is our annual Congeos survey which is conducted every semester among the first semester students at our member universities. So 22 out of 24 universities. It's organized by our association, by the Congeos, and carried out by the Congeos members, so the universities themselves. The Congeos survey is consisting of seven uh, questions regarding the motivations to start geodesy and as well as the future job plans for the students. Then we will begin with the results. The first semester student numbers reached the highest levels between 2014 and 2016 and have been declining since then. So in the winter semester 2021-2022, roughly 2,000 students started studying geodesy, 41% at universities or technical universities and 59% at universities of applied sciences. In Austria, there's only two universities, so no universities of applied sciences. They re they've reached their high highest numbers from 2012 to 2014 and have been stagnating since then with roughly 80 new students every year. In Switzerland, the numbers at ETH Zurich have been growing since 2015, quite significantly. And 70, roughly 70% 70 of the Swiss first semester students start at ETH Zurich, whereas about 30% start at the university in Mutenz. So, in Germany, the numbers have been declining since 2016, and most students start at universities of applied sciences. In Austria, the numbers have been stagnating since 2014, and in Switzerland, the numbers have been growing since 2015. So, pretty different results for the different German-speaking countries. Yes, as you mentioned, um, we carry out uh, the annual Congea survey, and these are the numbers from last year, last winter se semester. And um, we brought some nice and uh, good charts um, from the Congeo survey. And maybe they are also interesting for you, maybe as a company, because they are uh, related to the working um, part of the studies besides um, their studies. And as we can see, uh, many um, of the studies students um, have already a, a contract with the company. Um, we divided by dual students or working student, but as we see, they just start this, uh, the, the, the study and they already have a contract, and that's in the, in the university is not normal, but um, for the companies, it's really interesting because they can, can uh, recruit uh, really early um, some, some new uh, employers and students. And for the, for the students, it's also uh, a really good benefit because they can get some money for, for living and as well for getting some uh, working experience. Um, at next, uh, we have uh, a chart where we can see um, how the new student uh, learn about the, the field of geodesy or get know the, the study of geodesy. And as we can see, and we all maybe know how we entered the geodesy, many of us came into the geodesy because we have some friends or family background in this kind of field. And, but we can also see um, what else is uh, really um, public, uh, the classical websites. And as we and Marlene Rübka also mentioned, we have to continue um, to do uh, online advertisement and um, social media. And this is the future, and only this way we can attract new and a lot of students uh, for the future. Um, here we can see um, that um, in this chart that uh, also um, many of the students work in the field of GLC or did an apprenticeship before they uh, start their studies. So this is kind of um, misleading the numbers because uh, not every uh, new student is new in, the, in this kind of field in the geodesy. 
and one more um, chart is mentioned um, what the, the study in which field they feel comfortable and what they want to do after their studies. And as we can see, the classical surveying is uh, at highest, but also it's interesting that uh, there will be um, GIS, geoinformatics, and navigation, and GPS is also really popular for the student. And there are some other stuff which is um, not that high, but um, we all also um, carry out um, a survey for graduating student, and there we can see that these, these uh, charts are um, changing over the time. After four years, they're graduating. Um, it's kind of also photogrammetry in remote sensing get a little bit higher. But um, this is uh, another part maybe for next uh, presentation. So to conclude, uh, like in many, many files, also in geodesy, there are difficulties in finding uh, qualified and skilled workers. This is uh, mainly due to declining birth rates. Um, in Germany, there are uh, too few students at universities and universities of applied sciences, but uh, the numbers in Austria and Switzerland look quite sustainable, to be honest. Um, we can also conclude that, uh, or we see in the survey, that many students have completed a apprenticeship before they start studying geodesy, and most students want to work in the classical surveying field. Um, so to conclude in general, the profession needs to be brought further into the public eye, especially with campaigns like Weltvermesserer. So that is also a reason why we as Contius also proudly support Weltvermesserer, of course. Uh, but you, your company, uh, or whoever should uh, do so too. So if you want to know more about us, you could follow our Instagram, Contius Dach, if you want to. We also have a booth over there in hall 3.2. It's D3.08. Uh, you're very welcome there. You can come talk with us, whatever you want to. If you want to access uh, the graphs from the, or the figures from our presentation, just type in the title of the paper online. You will find it on ResearchGate. It was also published in the ZFW, the magazine of DVW. Uh, feel free to approach us. And uh, in addition to this first semester survey, we are now also conducting an alumni survey. Thank you very much for your attention.